Hi, I'm Kirsty Meekin and this is Neo Makeup. Today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do Harley Quinn's makeup from the Suicide Squad because Halloween is coming up and we all like getting dressed up and you know making ourselves look like death. I don't want to do that. When I do my makeup for Halloween, I want to look sexy and funky. So I'm going to show you today how to do Harley Quinn on our beautiful model. So first of all, I'm going to start off by um, applying a hydrating gel from Illamasqua. All it is is a nice moisturising gel. It's going to help the makeup that I put on. It's going to help that stay on a little bit longer so she can go and have a great night out looking hot and sexy for Halloween. Are you going to go trick or treating after this? Of course. You can't, you can't waste it, you know. You've got to go. You've got to go trick or treating. Now, Harley Quinn is quite pale. She's not like all bronze like me, <laughs> or orange. Um, so we're going to use quite a pale colour um, using Revlon Color Stay because it just stays on so well. I'm going to do a foundation first. Dropping it on my knee. Yeah, I'll make you look like a clown for me. All right. So I'm going to use circular motions to blend the foundation in. After I've done this, I will also conceal as well. I'll conceal any imperfections. Well, I don't think you've got any imperfections, <laughs> JJ. I'm going to use um, a concealer now, which this is like a sculpting, not sculpting, it does say sculpting, but it's like a contouring concealer, let's say. I'm going to go under JJ's eyes. I'm going to make sure it's all nice and pale. But if there's no foundation or concealer under her eyes, then her makeup won't last as long. Just using the tip of a sponge just to take out some of the creases. So if you keep your eyes closed for me now, Jay. I'm just going to apply some translucent powder. All over your face. I'm going to make sure, open your eyes, look up. We have no creasy creases going on under the eye. So there we've got like a nice pale look now. Compare, compare, compare. We can open your eyes now, look. Very pale. <laughs> <laughs> like, are you alive? Yeah? A little bit? This is my actual foundation colour. Really? Yeah. Oh, you, put, you, put, you put a lot of bronzer on after. <laughs> yeah, so pale. Yeah, I've got spray tan on because it was my birthday. Yeah. And we went out for my birthday, didn't we, Jane? We went out, had a very good time. Now, I went home at half past one. Oh. <laughs> JJ rocked in at half past five. Of course. In the morning. Mm. Had a good night, didn't you? I had an amazing time. <laughs> after Kirsty went home. Yeah, it got better as the night went on. <laughs> Now I'm going to do her eyebrows, so I'm going to use this Illamasqua palette and I'm going to use this and this, okay? And we'll also use some of this paler one. So we're going to do quite a fierce eyebrow. We're going to slightly alter the shape of JJ's eyebrows as you can see. I say slightly, we're going to completely alter the shape of JJ's eyebrows. So what I'm doing first of all is sort of outlining the very edge of the brow first and then we'll come and fill this in. With the, I've got a thinner, Lucas he's a micro eyebrow pencil from NYX. So it's really thin and little, you'll see. We're going to draw in some brow lines and then with the slanted brush we're going to use the black because the, the pencil that we put on is really waxy this is going to stick to it it'll seal it it's also going to 
make it darker. I'm just brushing the hairs up to get right to the base of the hairs. I don't, I don't really have this problem. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm going to take off what I can on the back of my hand. And then with the rest of the residue that's on there, I'm going to just brush that across. So we get a faded effect. So I'm going to use Stealth from the Ilanoska company. So you start light and you work your way up. So we're just highlighting here in the centre and right at the corner where that eyebrow peaks there and that arch. And we're going to use these. Oh, binnacle Right, so we're going to use the pink on the right side, the blue on the left side, just like half clean. Can you remember when you had the nails on? I do. You were the nail model for the Harlequin nails. And when she went to work in the salon, what was everyone like? I can't believe it. I loved them. I can't believe it. So many clients could not believe it. You want to check out the video to the Harlequin nails I did? Suicide Squad. Have a look here. Click the link. Click, 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 click it. So I'm going to start off with pink. Where's your eye coming? I'm going to bring it out, bring that right in, and then open your eye for me. I'm going to go right underneath, and we're going to start to smudge this out. It cool for me. We're blending that out, and then we're going to use, in the famous palette that I love, we've got like a dark purple in here as well, so we're going to use that as well. So we're bringing in a socket now. We're actually blending it with the other side. So you've got the colour on there, and you're going to blend it with the other side. So you don't have to keep changing brushes too much. Just going over with whatever's left on that pink. Going underneath just to give that eye a frame. Let me use some other pink. Some of the pale pink that matches my hair that I love. I'm gonna finish this eye as much, you know, as much as I can. So we're gonna do the eyeliner on this one and everything. We're gonna put a bit of sparkle on. A bit of sparkle. But I want that sparkle to stick. So we're gonna use, I love this. I don't use it very often, but I love it when I do. It's only for certain things. Um, it's super cover. And there's lots of different metallics in there. I'm gonna show you on the back of my hand what I'm gonna do. Some of this. And you can see it's quite shimmery just by itself. But then I'm going to use what's it called? It's pure pigment. Oh my god, what's that say? Bengali. Bengali. Bengal. Bengal. What's it say? Let me have a look. Bengal. 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 Beguile. Yeah. Beguile. What did we do with it? Bengali. It doesn't, doesn't have an N in it. I don't know where. Um, adding letters. Just added letters, yeah. <laughs> so this is what it's like on its own. But if I put it over this, it will then stick to it. So it'll last longer and it'll be slightly whiter as well. That's what I want. So we're going to do that just here in the corner of the eye.
Now we're going to do a similar thing on that side. Then I'm going to do the eyeliners. Starting with the blue and then we'll again use the purple to deepen the colour. It's quite good because with the pink and the blue you actually only need the, deep, the purple to make it darker. You don't need like a darker blue or anything like that. We can use the, um, the purple for both. So we're filling out this corner. Going all the way across the eye. I'm going to put a little bit of contouring with powder. So I'm just using like a medium brown to do this. Down side at nose. End of nose. I'm going to highlight with this. It's actually called a fashion wheel. So I'm taking the black through the eyebrow and doing the straight line. So we've got this marking of the Harlequin. So just doing this with eyeshadow and then what we do is we're gonna go and put the blue on as well. So with the blue that we used before, we're gonna go straight over the top of it. We're just gonna shade it. So with the black and this pointy brush, I'm just making that line a little bit stronger. So we're gonna do the little heart now. We're gonna do it on this cheek. We're gonna use this waterproof eyeliner. It's got a short, dumpy brush. You wanna look on my hand. Gotta stay dead still now. No pressure. Oh. <laughs> no pressure. Right. So you got two round circles. And all you're gonna do is bring that into a point at the bottom. And fill that in. Using the super fat cat eye marker, we're gonna do Got some wings coming up here, some nice flickers. Some nice big flicks. Just gonna shake that out. It's just gonna refill the nib. Keep your eye closed for me. I'm going to seal that with a little bit of black um, powder. So I'm going over the flicks with a little bit of black powder, which will intensify the black and also seal it, make it last longer. Mm. Mascara time now. I'm going to go straight in with a big, chunky mascara. Going right in at the root. See what I'm doing? I'm lifting the eye, and look what it does to the lashes. It pulls them away, so they're a lot easier to get. So you, if you're doing makeup on somebody else, just get them to close the eye, and you can lift the lid, and you'll able to get right in. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Lift it, that's it, and then straight in. JJ's got amazing eyelashes. Where did you get these lashes from? I wear them myself. Just literally tickling across with the tip of the brush. We're going to go inside the waterline with a charcoal colour. It's not completely black, it's just going to, it's more of a charcoal colour, it's going to add some depth to the eye without being too harsh. Red lip liner. 
this is where you're allowed to go over the top so you're going to draw in those lips that you've always wanted and not get in which will make it a little bit joker-esque I am going to smudge it down here as well because she looks like she's had a good snog does um, Harlequin she looks like she's had a good <laughs> but she with the joker and that's why it's all over her face mm -hmm. I'm not going to make it all over your face yeah. but I'm going to smudge it a little bit so it still looks like sexy I know some of you might think this is a bit much for Halloween makeup but if you want to make a real big effort and take it to the next level you've got to go to the next level and make it a little bit more crazy this isn't just your bog standard makeup where you're going out trick-or-treating this is you're going out as the character Harley Quinn and you're dressing like it and doing all the makeup perfect just like it is so now I've done that, I'm going to use um, this Rouge Edition Velvet Liquid Matte Lipstick So it's going to last all night Oh, look at that mm. Oh, darling Right, so we're going to smudge one side now. So I'm going to I'm going to work like this because this has got quite a bit of a dramatic here. I'm going to get smudge this side. So I'm just going to make sure I've got enough on there to smudge. And I'm going to smudge it down. Oh, sexy! I'm just going to reapply here so it's got a good colour. So that is the makeup completely finished. Have a good look at it, have a go yourself. Show me what you think. I want you to tag me in anything that you do that's like this and show me your work. <laughs> you like it, JJ? I love it. Where's your baseball bat? I need to go get, oh, I've got that little bird and say what? Oh. <laughs>